Hello everybody, it is the Hard Gamer 101. How are you guys doing today? Um, a lot of people that are watching this video are from the Merge NYC um, community and or Discord. But if you're not, um, the game is 50% off. So it's around $17 I think it is right now on Steam. I would go check that out. Also, I don't know if it's still working or not, but if you go on the website, you also get an additional $5 off. Um, either way, this is a great game. It is uh, early access, so there will be bugs and everything. But right now, we are going to go do, go through some tutorials. Um, the first tutorial, I have not made my mind yet. I think we're probably going to be doing um, how to drive the vehicles, how to use the um, main controls, and then next video, we will get into the hoses and everything like that. So right now, let's just spawn our vehicles. Um, how, to, how you spawn vehicles is by clicking F2 which you can do that right clicking it or by by um, pressing the key and then you have this to go to new unit and obviously we're just going to do FDNY right now um, NYP and EMS is not fully set up yet they do not have any any features except for the vehicles so we're not going to go through them um, we're just going to spawn engine let's just do engine 78 they're all different in their own way um, this one's a KME these have different lights and this is an older engine so we'll just we're just going to do 78 I like that engine. Um, obviously, you can choose your ro your role, but obviously we're going to need to spawn a um, driver if we because before we want to drive the vehicle. So we click driver, and now um, we are in this uniform. Now, as you can see in the truck, um, that is the truck right there, and you can change your uniform by hitting F3 or by clicking it right there. We're just going to hit F3. And now you're gonna get this menu, and you're gonna wanna. And also, just so you guys know, when you if you left alt click, you can hide your mouse or put it back, as you can see. Um, the reason why I, you know, left alt to get rid of the mouse because I have dual screens, and if I if I do if I do this, it goes to the other screen, and it can start clicking on stuff. So I just hit left alt when I'm not doing anything, and when I'm ready to click something, I turn it off, and then go to turn out gear. Now my gear is on. Um, what you can do now is, is a couple options that there are to your left, but I'm still going to show you it. If you hit H, helmet on and off. J is your scuba, it's your SCBA gear. Um, K is to get your full mask on and everything like that. And I just want to let you guys know this is your first person. I know it's a little um, shaky, which is you know for realism. Hopefully, in the shoot in the future, can be optimized or changed. But if you click X. You have the full, and you can hear the noises, you can see how it works, um, it's pretty amazing. And also, so we're just going to stop moving for a little bit, hopefully the passive alarm will go off so we, you can see how that works as well. Um, but we're to put our hat back on. Um, other stuff you can do is lights, for example, if you hit L, it comes on. Um, I do not know if the helmet lights are on this update, they're not on this update, I'm pretty sure yet. But there are helmet lights when you move your head, the light moves with you. Um, that, that is will be coming soon. Okay, now that's the passive alarm. It's a little loud. But what you can do it, you can shut it off by either walking or by hitting tab. I'm just going to hit tab. And as you can see, it shut off. So there are multiple ways you can do it. Or just by walking, and it'll go off simply as well. Um, now we're going to go over the engine. So this is kind of going to be hoses and everything. We'll just implement it together. So it's going to be ba the basics and hoses as well. But before we do hoses and everything, let's get into the vehicle. By clicking F, where you have to walk up to the driver's door. Let's move the camera by uh, right-clicking. You can move the camera. Um, as you can see, there's not a list of buttons, which I think is fine. Um, but if the list does come back, then we'll go over it. But right now, um, gonna, we're going to go over the list. It's a little glitch laggy for me for some reason. Do not know why. I usually get around 35, 40 frames. Again, I'm running a 750 Ti that will be upgraded. So in this, the reason why we're not doing it in the city and going through calls and everything is because my frame rate's around at that most 20, 21. But like again, that's most people's because they're the computer. Excuse me, the map is not optimized that well at all right now. So it's laggy very for mostly everybody except for the people that have really good graphics cards and. You know, I would say, you know, three, four thousand dollar computers. A two thousand computer can probably run it fine. But that's what I'm saying. You have to have a more expensive computer. But let's get right into it. I start your engine, so we're gonna hit I. You hear that noise, which is nice. Okay. So it is on. Now we're gonna hit P, shut off the parking brake. Um after you do that, 
you can the parking brakes are off now so you can fully drive the vehicle it's gonna be a little shaky yeah it is for some reason I don't know if it's just for me or if it's for other people but when you turn it is shaky um, that will be fixed if that is if it is not just me it will be fixed but yeah so we'll, how we turn on our lights is by hitting J and you can see that all the lights are rotating everything's going correctly um, now the other engines don't have the rotating strobes like that because they have different type of light lights on it but there you go now you can have your uh, whale which is B you get the gist and it will be your Yelp H is the priority it does say M but it's H um, your manual horn is Y and your and T is your horn and then R is to shut it off so you can go you can hold Y down for a little bit click it a couple times and then hold R or just tap R that's how it works and the horn is very loud and obnoxious so that's that's great as you can see there's very great there's a very amazing textures on these vehicles as you can see the the flag obviously and everything like that also guys in the description there will be time cuts to you know if you want the basics or if you want to go through uh, just the hoses and everything like that but right now what we're gonna do is um, I'm not I'm not gonna set up a fire we're just going to pull to this building over here. Now, sometimes there are problems with the reverse, which, I, which will probably be some of the later updates. Um, we're going to pull up and see if I can find a hydrant further away from the buildings. I think there's one over here. Okay, here's hydrant right here. Oh, we're going to do all that. Okay, the hydrants do not appear very well. And see the reverse is not working that well for me at the moment, but like I said, it really just all depends. Uh, we're going to pull up over here. I'm just going to cut through this, and I'll just go around. We'll put our lights on. And I'm gonna get out by clicking F. Okay. Now the reason why it could be like this, let me just make sure this is correct. Now I'm gonna go to settings here. Okay, let's go to video. Uh, where would it be at? What am I looking at? Uh, no, okay, it's not here. That's weird. I thought it would be the uh, view distance, but it's not here. Okay. So if it's a little loud, which it is kind of loud for me, I, we don't need volume, so I'm just gonna lower this. But right there um, but basically how it works is when you, let's say that there's two ways to get a supply line well first you have to get a supply line from right here which is the front as you can see it says press T to grab when it excuse me this one right here it's gonna press press T to grab it now sometimes right now when you click T it's gonna grab that as well but let's just kind of hit that right now without okay there we go so when now this is your supply line this a uh, supply line is basically a line that goes from the hydrant to your truck now there's two ways you can do it. Now, well, first of all, you always have to click E to pick it up and place it over here by now clicking E again on the hydrant, and it will attach. Now, there, well, the reason why I say there's two ways to do it is because you can click E and now you can connect it to this hose connection right in the front, or you can connect it to the two hose connections on the side. For this video, I'm gonna connect it on the side right here. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is also T to grab a supply line over there. I do not use it because it's not long at all. Um, if you're doing car fires, bus fires, anything like that, any kind of small fire that is mobile in front of you right around the, you click T, and it's automatically going to connect to there, and then you can just go pick up the line, and you can drag it around, if you know, this is how far it goes, just so you guys get a gist of how far it works, about right here, uh, and that is extended in the air, no, it's on the ground, okay. But there you go. So that's about how far you can get it. You can get a little bit further than that. It does stretch a little bit for a long, but it's not good because when you let go of it, it will um, it will swing a uh, slingshot back. I recommend max distance of about right here. Um, but as a car fire or bus fire, you're usually around this close, so it'd be fine. 
Um, now we can kind of attach stuff to it, but right now we're not going to use this hose. Um, we are just going to put that back by clicking T again. And over here, as you can see, there's a hose connector connection. So you can technically, again, if let's say your supply lines on the on the driver side, you can connect that there as well. So there, there's three ways you can do it now. Um, and then once, if you use that attack line on the front, you come up to this. It's automatically attached, and you click P, and it will start charging, and it will start charging with the water. Um, actually, why don't I not, not show you that? As you can see, if I click T, there's water coming out because I clicked it. So let's drop that line. Ooh. We're just going to come over here and... Ah, it's because I opened it. Hold on. Let me shut this line off. See, it's still a little buggy, guys, as you can see. Okay, it's, it wants to connect to that for some reason, but... That's how it works. Let's see if I can do it this time. Okay, I don't know why it wants to do that. If I click, I clicked E the first time and it fucked it all up. But, that's how it works. It, you get it from there, it'll run over here. You come back, you click P, and it will charge that. As you can see, it charged it and it shut it off. Um, but we're just going to go to the back of the rig. And we are going to grab our hose. By grabbing your hose, you click T. And it's going to... It's not going to come out. That's what it's going to do. As you can see, it's not going to come out. So that means this is bugged. Which is fine. All we have to do is, like I said, this is all going to be fixed. It is early access. So you come back to it, we'll get a new engine. We'll get engine 30 this time. We'll come back, drive. There should be a hydrant over here. No, there's not. Okay. We're just going to hop in here. It doesn't matter what clothes we're wearing at the moment. That engine is obnoxious. obnoxious. It's very loud. I'm just going to pull up. Ooh. I'm just going to pull up right here at this hydrant. The distance is fine and all, so let's come here, let's get this line T, we click E, come over here, attach it, come here, pick that line up, attach it over here. Um, now, it, if we now what we're going to do before we take a hose from back there now, as you can see, if you come over here, it's going to say, so it's not going to say it's on. Now, what I figured out, the problem is... The reason why it's not on is because we have to actually... It, now, you, you think it would say it's connected, right? But, what you need to do is, you need to come back over here, take the tool out by clicking G, and this this this, this tool turns the pump on. So you're going to come up to the pump, it says, press, I'm going to read from this side, open the close hydrant, press click P. You open the hydrant, you see the tank, it fills up, now you can see water coming out of the top of the hydrant. That means it is connected and it's ready to roll. Now we're going to put it back, I'm going to close that door, and if you come over here, it's going to say inlet connection, okay, it's connected to the hydrant. The discharge connection, which is the attack line, which we can go get that from the back now. Now we can T to pull it, we're going to grab it, now we're going to pull it out. As you can see, this is one length. Now to connect this, you're going to have to keep on pulling it out, now you have one of those couplings. Now that coupling, you can go to that, to that coupling, click E and attach it. Now we're going to get a little bit longer of a line here. So we're going to keep on running. Okay, now we shot that side out. Now we're, what we have to do is, you got to come over here. I'm just going to bring it. We'll go around this. I'm going to bring it over here. Drop it. And now what's going to happen is, what I have to do is, I have to connect clicky. I pick that up. Now I'm going to plug it in over here to the hose connection. I'm going to click E. Now my hose is connected over there. Okay, now here I'm gonna I'm gonna actually gonna pick this up and keep on pulling it so I can go put it back. So E, now I just pulled it out. No, actually I don't even need to pull it out. I just pick it up, run back over here and click F. Ooh, it's gonna return it all. Okay, so okay, it was okay. Hold on. So we're just gonna pull a little bit of it then. Just run over here with the hose. There we go. Drop it by clicking E. Now I'm going to undo that. Come back. Click F to return the hose. Okay, so it's been fixed. So whenever you return hose now, it's going to return all of the hose as you just seen. So you don't want to click 
you're just going to want to untangle all of it out. Drop it. You're going to want to take this part by clicking E. Just move this part over there. Let's get this part out of the way. Now you're going to want to take this part right here by clicking E. And this is going to be your align where you're going to connect your nozzle to. So you're going to come up to it, click E. Now it's connected right there. Okay. Now, since it's all that's connected and this connected, you can click start pumping. Now click P. You're going to do the engine rev up to make it realistic. And that's how it really is in real life. And now you're going to see water starting to flow out there. Now you can come out of your nozzle. Click in G. And you can come over here. And now you're going to click E to pick it up and it's going to connect it to the nozzle. Now as you can see I am connected. Now when I go like this, it's going to shoot water. I usually zoom all the way out to have a best view. And it will shoot water pretty, pretty high. You get the gist how it works. So now I can, what I can do is I can drop the hose. But I'm still going to have the nozzle. So there's no reason to drop it. What you can do is you have to either go back and shut off the pumping by, and the only way to stop the water from coming out is by clicking X. So you can drop, you can drop the nozzle and drop the hose. What I would do, you know, if it was me doing this, I would just grab this, drop the hose. Now let's say you're done shooting the fire, like I said, you're done putting the fire out and you want to shut everything off. I would come back, put the nozzle back here, and then stop pumping water and then it's going to stop the water from coming out and now you're good. Now we're going to classically put the hoses back in the engine so we're going to click E to pick it up and put it back. Now all the hoses are going to be put back into the rig. The water is still pumping up as it's going to, it's still filling up. Now if you were not pumping water you can still pump because there's water in your tank every time you spawn the trunk. The, the trunk. The truck. So, you can pump without having to connect to the uh, hydrant, but like I said, after, you know, a minute or two of pumping, you're going to run out of water and you're going to want to gonna need to connect. Now, for a car fire, you should you may not need to connect to the hydrant, which is totally fine. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to shut it off. Which I think, we like I said, it says press P because we opened it up, but we still need to go back and get the nozzle to technically shut it off. See, it's going to show it there, but that is totally fine. That is realistic. Now we're going to put it back. We're going to close the door. And we're going to come back over here. We are going to click E. And I'm pretty sure you, what you can do is you can just come over here and click T. And it's going to put it back. You don't even need to undo it. Which is, you know, it's not the most realistic, but that's how it has to be, which is I agree and I like it better than having to put it all back, to be honest. But that's basically how you use the truck. And to do, now there's also a light scene by clicking L. You have lights up there and you can move it by doing your arrows. And you can see the lights are pretty bright. And you can position them how you want to, like right now they're in my face. But you can position them however you need to. It will not do a 360. Oh, it will, okay. So it wasn't doing 360s for me before. But I guess it is now. So there is 360 rotation on this. Oh, no, there isn't. See, it stops right there. You have to go all the way back around. So there is not the best rotation on here. But that, you can click, shut it off by clicking L. Um, I'm just going to shut the engine off real quick so we can so we can hear. Um, other than that, that's basically all of the hoses you need to know. Um, there's also right here, if you come up to and click T, you can grab a hose pack. Um, and you can run with it. Now, I'm not 100% certain if it's ready to be used. Um, we can try it real quick, but I don't think so. Um, it, now, what hose pack is for is you should be able to run the hose up the stairs and connect it to um, kind of like fire hydrants inside buildings. Kind of like you see this big, this red thing right here. It should be able, eventually, it'll be a script where you can connect it to that. Which, what you'll do is you'll be able to come in here. And it's not there right now, but it's going to be a big red line running up. And you'll be able to click E, and it should be able to connect that hose to it. And you would connect a fire truck to this line right here. 
and that line will pump water up the red p pipe and then when you connect your hose to the other end of it inside the building it'll shoot out the water instead of running hoses all over up the building but right now we have to use that which is totally fine but that is basically how you use it now I'm sorry that this is a little bit you know slamish but you know it's going crazy and everything but um, it's, it's bugged, so I can't say everything perfect for you guys, but that is basically how you do it. I'm going to click E to close. Now, there is still a little bug when you click E right here, it, d it disconnects the supply line, which, you know, I recommended that we just switch the, um, we s switch the hose connection keys, but we will see how that works, um, in the future. And I'll say, like, for example, this one light's on, wh who knows, it's a bug. But, um, that's basically how, that's basically all the hoses. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to, I don't even need to get into this, but we're going to despawn this vehicle, and we're going to get a ladder truck, and then we're going to go around how to use a ladder truck. Uh, we're just going to do ladder company 57 at the moment. And, I, and, yep, okay. So, we're just going to, 57's a little bit older of a fire truck, um, but I have never actually driven this one yet. I don't like this one as much as the uh, Ladder 66. But let's start this up. Put the lights on. We're going to go to a building. Let's go to the highest building here, which should be, I'm guessing, actually this building. Building 4. Which I'm just gonna have a. Let's just do a. Let's just do a gigantic reach. I'm pretty sure this ladder can reach. So we're just gonna. Now in real life we're not gonna park here, but we're just gonna do it for this video. So um, as a fire up, as an engine operator, how it will work if you have an engine, you can take that hose and connect it to your engine, your uh, excuse me, your ladder truck. And that's gonna be for the tower ladders, and you can you would be able to connect it over here or over there. Don't know exactly yet. We will we'll see when we get there. Um, but there's all these compartments, and for example, here's a SCBA. But there's all different compartments now. Let me make sure. In this compartment, you will find a saw. Now, this saw you can pick up by G, and it's going to start up. Now, saws you can use by going up to roll up doors or any door with a lock on it. And for example, it's going to say roll down door. Use the K12 saw equipped. So we're going to aim. We're going to hit. We're going to aim and we're going to shoot. And we're going to hit this lock. You're going to want to get right on that lock. It's about right there. You can move it up and down if you want, but you really just want to keep it at that lock. And I give it a couple moments and it will open up, like just like that. Now you can drop it right there or you can put it back. I usually put mine back. So I'm going to go and put it back. There's also tools. Such as Halligans and everything like that. But I don't know if we have it. Here we go. So here's some tools right here you can use as well. This this tool is used for really opening up doors. For example, it says click E, but the door will not open up. So what you have to do is put it on there. And then and once you do that, you can do that by... Apparently it did it for me by clicking F. And what you can do is... If it, now what you can also do is come up to the door and then right click and it's going to put it on there and then you left click really fast. Not really fast, it's just fast. It's not rapidly and then it's going to open the door. And then if you keep on going, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so now let's get this, now we're going to want to get this ladder in the air. Oh, just before we do that, just so you guys know, all these doors are able to open. Um, so right here is we have some, I think this is going to be a fire extinguisher. I can't really tell the difference, but you click G, but it's probably not, let me see, I don't know if it's going to work right now. Okay, there we go. I think this is going to be a water extinguisher. Yeah, this is a water extinguisher, I'm pretty sure. Um, but there you go. So you, the distance is pretty good on the water extinguisher, but that's what that is. And you click G, pick it up, drop it, you can go put it back. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to get on the back of the vehicle and uh, we're going to go through the ladders and also the ladders, the, the, the one big ladder. So we're going to put it out by using our, by the arrow keys. So we're going to do the right arrow key, which is going to, which I can't see. Okay, I see it now. It's because these doors are open. So let's close these doors real quick. As you can see, they're coming out. Ooh. They're fully out. Now we're going to click the left arrow. And it's now going to put it down. Now lift the truck up. Now to put it back, you hold control and then do that. As you can see, it's going to go back down. But we want to go we want to go back up. So we're going to let go of control. Now you come over here and click F to climb. And when you get here, there's a list of keys. Um, as you can see, S is going to bring this up. So we're going to use S to get this ladder up. Now we can swing it by hitting D or A, but we're going to use D because we want to swing it this way. So now when we swing it this way, we can raise the ladder. So we can raise the ladder by doing Q and E. Here I'm going to do E to extend. Q is to retract. So let's extend it. Now you can zoom in by doing your... Um, I don't even know what that button's called, but you can zoom in and zoom out, and then you can raise the ladder. As you can see, it won't go through. It won't go through now. So when it's, it'll start glitching, like that, and then you just gotta pull up a little bit, lower it. I, what I would do is I'm just gonna aim. This is a bad position, so we're just gonna put it on that top ladder over there. Actually, we're just gonna put it over here. Now you can just raise the ladder. Now we are on the top. So what we can do now is we can click C to climb. I uh, hopefully there's this this there's not a glitch here. But let's see. Usually, sometimes you fall through ladders and stuff. So let's pray that there's not a glitch from this ladder. Okay, there's not. So you can get to the top now, and it's gonna now you can just keep on going up, and eventually you'll just drop. Now you're up on here and whatever. Now when you want to go back down, you come over here, click C to climb down, and you will be going down. And please, and do not click any buttons while you're going down, or you will fall. That's just how the game. That's just how the game works. If you hit tab, you're gonna fall and you're gonna freeze and glitch. So there's no reason to do that. So we're gonna come all the way down. You're automatically gonna go up. Now we're gonna click Q to uh, retract the ladder. And now you can hit tab when you're down here, just not while you're up there. So we're gonna put this down. I get this position pretty well. Let's see if we can do it. It's about that's pretty good right there. So now we can hit F to get out. Now, since we're done with that, I'm just gonna put hold control and put these outriggers up. Now this and ladder 66 basically have the same exact features, so we're not gonna go to ladder 66. And I'm not gonna do tower ladder. I mean, excuse me. I'm gonna do the tower ladder. I'm not gonna do the tiller um, in this video. Or the squad, which the squad is just a multi-purpose vehicle where you can find everything in that vehicle. Um, and the rescue will not be done in this vehicle either. But now, we can go to the ladders. The portable ladders. Now you can click E to open this up. Now it's going to give you a list on the left of ladders. We're going to go through every single ladder. So we're going to do, we're going to go from 1 to 4. So one, we're going to do 1, 4 from the uh, shortest to the highest. So we're going to come over here. And now, as you can see, you can place this ladder. This is how you place this ladder. Let's say you want to put it here. Now, this gets this is a little bit confusing. So you're going to want to click F, and it's going to put it down. Now you get the menu, okay? See, it's a little bit bugged, which is no problem. But I, I'll explain it to you anyway. Now, F is the is the place that which we just did, and it's also going to release it when you're done putting it up. T is to pick it up and drop it, which we're not going to hit T on any time right now, okay? But we're going to extend this, so we're going to want to hit Q. So we're extending it up. Now it's all the way to the max it can be. I think I'm too I'm too uh, far, but we're going to try this. Now we're going to hit F to release it. Okay, as you can see, I was too far. So let's pick this up. Now to pick the ladder back up, you have to hit T. And you have to go through it again. So we're going to move up a little bit. 
I'm gonna hit F. Let's see if this works this time. I think this one should work. Now we're, now we're gonna hit F. And that one worked. So now we can hit C to climb. And you can climb your ladder and go to the top. And that's what you can do now. Okay, now when you want to pick the ladder back up and you're ready, you can you can lower it and then pick it up, or you can just hit T to automatically lower the ladder. Um, you can bring it back, and what you got to do now is hit T to return it. Now we're gonna we're not gonna go for the 10 foot ladder; it's just a straight ladder, and you know we'll skip the 20 foot and go to the straight to the 35 foot. So let's click T. This is a big ladder, so we're gonna see how high this goes. I never used this ladder before. So we're gonna try it on these stairs. Let's see if we can get to the the second one all the way to the top, the third floor. So we're gonna come close. Right here is good. We'll hit F, and we're gonna extend. Wow, this goes really high. Now we're gonna hit F. Okay, so it just made that building. So that's pretty high. That's a really tall ladder. Okay, now we're gonna climb it. So actually, I never did this before. So let's see. Never did this ladder. So let's see how high this goes. Wow. Okay, this is pretty, pretty tall ladder. Now you can probably let's see if it glitches us. Okay, we're good. So we can easily get out now from this ladder. Now, if it was a little bit closer, it'd probably be a little bit higher, but it wouldn't be as stable. So this is perfect. Now we're gonna pick up the ladder and bring it back. And those are the ladders, guys. So now we are going to grab the um, the other vehicle. We are going to grab a tower ladder, and that's going to be the last vehicle we go through in this episode. So we're going to join it. Okay, so this is what a tower ladder is, guys, if you do not know already. And we're not going to... Let me see if I, we're going to go... I'll have to walk around this vehicle because I haven't used it yet, so I don't know everything on it. Okay, I think it's on the... Okay, we're going to figure it out. Let's figure this out well, as we go. But I'm pretty good at finding out stuff, so that's why I made this video. So we're just going to put the vehicle right here, um, we're just going to hop out. Now let's say we want we want to put the outriggers down, so we're just going to do this, and when you can just click it, now with this one you can just click it once and it does it all automatically, and then the, the left arrow will put it back up, so there's not going to be any control button to click. And it's going to stop when it says down, now it's down. Now we can climb it here, and you can raise and lower, but you cannot get in the bucket. So we're just going to hop out of here. Now there's there's the hose connection. So what you're gonna do is I think it's on both sides. Okay, no, it's only gonna be on that side then. So when you have your engine, you bring your engine over here, you connect your engine right here, click in the hose connection, and it's gonna give um, water to the nozzle. So for us to be in that bucket while it goes up, we have to come over here and click enter bucket F. Now we can raise the bucket and do it without having not without with not being in the bucket so with being in the bucket because before you'd have to be over there in the control panel and you cannot get to the bucket by climbing the ladder and it's going to put it on the wall but we're not we're not going to need it so we're just going to hit x to close it we're going to go as high as this thing can go let's say there's some fire over here we need to shoot this is the highest it goes, so we can shoot this. Now we would hit. Now no water is gonna come out, but you can move the nozzle by using your arrows, using your up, down, left, and right arrow. And you would you would hold uh, left click down, and it was gonna shoot the fire. And then you use your arrows to move it. And now you want to go back down. You you know same keys as a ladder truck. E you know E W A S Q all of them same thing. Now I'm just gonna put the nozzle back to his resting position. I think it was something like that. We'll leave it at.
Okay, it's all the way retracted, so we're just gonna put it down now. Oh, so it does go under, guys, so be careful. You don't want it to go. That's pretty good. Now we can hop down by clicking F, and now we're good. So that's the tower ladder, guys, and the ladders are in the back of this, but there's no compartment opening it. So when you come here, you just got to click 1, and it's just going to grab you the ladder, and then you can return it. Um, yeah, and there's and then you can also do the light, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yep, wait. Let's see. Okay, there's not a light on here. And there's also one thing I want to go through, guys. I'm just going to despawn this and pull up the engine. We're going to pull up engine 32 this time. Now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but there's a ladder right here. This actually comes down, and you can actually grab it and equip the portable ladder. And it goes up, you know, just a little bit. I think it's a 12-foot ladder. Maybe a 20-foot. No, it's a 12-foot. Um, but then, you know, you just pick it back up. You bring it right back over here. You just put it back, and then what you do is you, gotta, you click right up there again a certain part it's hard for me to do it because you have to click a certain okay there it goes it goes slowly and boom it's right back and now you're done so guys thank you very much for watching this video i know it's been a long one but we will go through um more tutorials and everything going through this um thank you guys very much for watching the video um please pm me on discord if you have any questions or put it down below and i will send you the discord and or my email or any of the information like that. There's also a bug list, guys. If there's any bugs you encounter in the game, please put it in the bug reports channel under Discord or PM them to me and they will be added to the list. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Peace out.